In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add costumes to your sprite and then change that costume programmatically, meaning with code, so that your cat can walk just like mine. On this YouTube channel, I make coding tutorial videos just like this one, so if you're new here, please consider subscribing to help the channel out. Every sprite that you add to your project can have associated costumes added to it. Built-in sprites often come with costumes already included. Take the cat for example. It already has two costumes already built in. We can look at the costumes by selecting the Costumes tab and seeing which costumes are available to us. We can add more costumes by clicking on the icon at the bottom left of the screen, which again looks like a cat face with a plus sign and your options are to choose a costume that's already built into Scratch, to paint a costume, choose a random costume, upload a costume, or even take a picture using your webcam and use that as a costume. We'll just use the built-in library, so I'm going to select Choose a Costume, and you can see that there's hundreds of costumes available for all the different sprites that Scratch already comes with. I'm going to search for Cat and see what other costumes have the name Cat in them. Here we can add a flying cat costume to our sprite and you'll see it added to the Costumes pane over here on the left side of your screen. If we go back to the Code tab and select the Looks palette, there are two main command blocks for manipulating costumes that you're going to use. The first is Switch Costume to this block, and the next one is the next costume. So you might use one or the other depending on the situation and what you want to accomplish in your code. If you ever want to know the exact costume that one of your sprites is currently wearing, you can scroll down here in the looks palette and use this costume number or costume name reporter block. And if you click it, it'll tell you what the number is of the costume or the name. So right now, since I'm in the cat, it tells me the name or the, the number. Or you can just check off this little box over here and it'll show up on your stage so you can see exactly which costume he's wearing. This can be really useful when you're creating more advanced projects. In our current project, our sprite isn't going to change costumes unless we go into the scripting area and click on these blocks. But that's not really user friendly because your users aren't supposed to see the code behind the scenes. So what I want to do is I want our cat to, let's say, change costumes when we click on it. So I'm going to go over to the events palette and bring over when this sprite is clicked. So when I click on the cat, I want it to change or go to the next costume. So every time I click on the cat, its costume changes. If I want my cat to appear to be walking, I can go over to the control palette and bring over a repeat block. And inside of this repeat block, I want it to change costumes because an animation is really just a change of costumes done really quickly. So if I click on this now, you'll see that it's happening way too quickly and it actually doesn't even look like he's walking. So what I can do is I can add a wait block inside of my repeat block, and let's say I wait half a second in between each costume switch. And now it'll appear like he's walking and flying apparently. So I don't actually wanna have the flying costume inside of my cat, so I'm gonna go back over to the costumes tab and remove that. I could right click and delete that flying costume, and now when my sprite is clicked, He's going to go back and forth between the costumes 10 times. Lastly, I want to show you how you can upload a costume to your own sprites. In the previous video, I created the Obama sprite, which I uploaded myself. But if you go over to the Costumes tab, you'll see that Obama has no other costumes. So to upload a new costume, I have to go and select Upload Costume. And then I have to choose the file that I want to upload. So now I have two costumes on Obama. Now in my code for the Obama sprite, I can add a script so that when he's clicked, he switches over to the next costume. So now when I click on Obama, he changes costumes. 